You can grieve anything. You can grieve anything. Grief isn't just death. We don't just grieve when someone dies. There are little layers to that grief. I grieve the death of Austin. Then I grieve not having them here. I grieve seeing my sister. I grieve seeing my brother-in-law. I grieve for my children, their response to that loss. I grieved when I saw my dad and I had to, we had to tell him. The look on his face just broke me. Looking at Erica every single day, watching her go through that grief, you can grieve anything. That was just within Austin. You can grieve the loss of a job. You can grieve moving and leaving all your friends and family behind. You can grieve when your parents sell your childhood home that you grew up in, where you had security and safety and you have so many memories there. That's a true grieving experience. You can grieve when your fur baby dies. You can grieve that your life is just not as happy or fulfilling as you'd like it to be. You can grieve that you have never landed that career job. You could grieve the fact that you never got to go on those vacations that you always wanted, that you never made it to the height in life that you wanted to make it to. You can grieve an addiction. You can grieve your addiction to alcohol or recreational drugs. You can grieve your shopping habit because you've spent too much money. You can grieve your debt. You're in too much debt. Any loss that occurs in your life, anything that makes you sad is a grieving experience. We don't just grieve death. That's why this is so, kind of gets difficult and hard to go through when we're going through the grieving experience because anything left in our heart, is gonna start showing up now. It's going to start showing up as we're trying to go through the grief. When your little puppy died, when you were three years old and your parents never talked about it and they ran out and got you another dog, but you knew that Jack slept by your bed every night and he, you loved him and you told Jack your secrets and your parents never handled that properly or the way you felt was proper and you just had to pretend like everything was okay because they got you a new dog named Jackie and Jackie doesn't act anything like Jack. You can grieve that, my friend. You can grieve a relationship with someone who is still living. You can grieve the divorce. You can grieve your boss who's bullying you. I can go on and on and on, but here's what you need to know. There are 45 or more known losses that we know a griever can grieve over their lifetime. Death and divorce are just the most popular that everybody adds with grief.